A 25-year-old man presents to the clinic with complaints of weakness and numbness in his right hand, persisting for the past few weeks. He works as a data entry operator, spending a significant portion of his day typing. Upon examination, he demonstrates difficulty with finger abduction and adduction. There is also decreased sensation over the medial one and a half fingers on both the palmar and dorsal surfaces of his hand. Tinnell's sign at the wrist is positive. Which nerve in the upper extremity is most likely affected in this patient? The correct answer is C, the ulnar nerve. The patient's symptoms, including difficulty with finger abduction and adduction, as well as decreased sensation over the medial one and a half fingers, suggest ulnar nerve involvement. This nerve primarily innervates most of the intrinsic hand muscles responsible for these movements and also provides sensory innervation to the medial one and a half fingers on both palmar and dorsal surfaces. A positive Tinell's sign noted on this patient's exam which is a tingling sensation or paresthesia elicited by tapping over the nerve, is indicative of nerve entrapment or injury. This finding is commonly seen in conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome, affecting the median nerve, or cubital tunnel syndrome, affecting the ulnar nerve. Given the patient's occupation and symptoms, the presentation is suggestive of ulnar nerve entrapment, often associated with prolonged periods of elbow flexion or direct pressure on the area. The radial nerve. This nerve mainly innervates the extensor muscles of the forearm and hand and provides sensation to the posterior arm, forearm, and dorsal hand. It is not typically implicated in repetitive strain injuries. The median nerve. Although this nerve can be affected by repetitive tasks like typing, carpal tunnel syndrome typically manifests as numbness and tingling in the first three and a half fingers, not the medial one and a half fingers. The axillary nerve. This nerve innervates the deltoid and teres minor muscles and provides sensation over the lateral aspect of the shoulder. It does not contribute to motor hand function. The musculocutaneous nerve. This nerve innervates the muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm and provides sensation over the lateral forearm. Just like the axillary nerve, it does not contribute to motor hand function. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like forever.